the book of Psalm chapter 126 verse 1. When the Lord Yahweh turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord Yahweh have done great things for them. The Lord Yahweh have done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Yahweh, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaf with him. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. That is Yahweh Shai. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. All praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Yahweh, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son, our redeemer, the king of Salem, the prince of peace. Shiloh, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the only begotten, the first spirit ever created. That's right. Yahweh Shai is his name. That's the name that I am coming to you in. He is the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. And that is how he is visiting the earth. He is coming to pass over his elect, meaning he's going to redeem a remnant. His elect that were picked before the foundation of the earth. For what? For the kingdom of heaven. To be the first fruit. His elect. He is coming to redeem his elect. His name is Yahweh Shai. Simply means he is the deliverer. Who is he coming for? The Israelite, the so called Latinos, the so called Hispanics, the so called Native American, the so called African American, Negroes, Caribbeans, spread across the four corners of the world. You are not black. You are not savages. No, you are the apple of the Lord's eyes. You are the Israelite, the Hebrew Israelite. The Bible is your history book. That's right. Nobody can put a claim on it. That's why it's just natural that the Lord put his spirit on his men who are Israelites. Those are the ones that are teaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai. This is his gospel that he said will be preached what around the entire world and the end will come. The moment the Lord raised us up, family, we started teaching this gospel. That's right. We are not teaching the gospel of what? We're not, uh, uh, what is it called? Sweet baby Jesus. No, we are teaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai, our king. The moment we started using that name, family, everything is falling apart. 
Prophecies are jumping off the pages. These nations are preparing for war. They are about to collapse the financial system. That's right. The debt ceiling that the Congress eh, is trying to work a deal with who? The Biden administration to raise what? The debt ceiling family. It is collapsing right in front of your eyes. Is this going to lead to what? The uh, What is it called? The false flag that they need eh, to bring down the system. Who knows? But family, we are all about prophecy. That is why, family, we are blessed. Yes. These are the true riches. Yes. You have this word here. This is the word that is going to seal you for the Lord to redeem you. That's right. This word here. Hmm? Then that's why it says what? You don't need cryptocurrency. You don't need gold. You don't need diamond. You don't need to build a bunker, family. No. We have the true word of prophecy. And the Lord said, he will be our guide in those days. Family, I must well bring it out. Let's go to the book, <clears throat> excuse me, the book of, uh, let's go to 2 Ezra. Quickly, family, we're flowing with the Spirit. We're flowing the Spirit. It wasn't part of my lesson, but here we go. That's how the Spirit works, family. Let's go to Israel, family. This is all about the Israelite hmm? The nations, if they survive this destruction that the Lord is bringing, every single one of them, including your favorite bosses, they're all going into captivity. That's right. That's, what, that's why they were created, to serve the Israelite. Everything is going back to where it's supposed to be. Yes, family, you have to take your feelings out of this. Yes, we are not here to preach smooth things and, uh, you know, make you feel good. And no, we're telling you what is coming. This is the gospel that the Lord have put in our mouth to preach. And you take the good with the bad. But with the Lord, everything is perfect. Hmm? Yes. It's bitter and it's sweet at the same time. That's right. He says, he that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity. That's what the Lord says. So who leads us into captivity? Exactly. The rest of the nation who benefited from us not knowing ourselves came into our communities set up businesses they prosper and they love seeing us at the bottom yes hmm. because they know that if we come together it is over for them they can't touch us but they don't know that this is exactly what yahweh shai is about to do again all praises honor and glory to our power yahweh bahashem yahweh shai Bahashem Rukakodash to you, the hopeful elect, the apple of the Lord's eyes, who are all Israelite. I'll say shallow one to you, double honors to my head apostles from the great millstone, the bishops, the elders that taught me this truth, salutation, peace to all the brothers day in and day out, bringing the gospel of Yahweh Shai. That's right. He comes in the volume of the book and he says, it's written of me. This whole thing is a movie about the only begotten son. That's right, Yahweh Shai, our king, who is going to live among us. Because family, last time I checked, he said what? He is going to drink wine with us for the first time. Because before the Passover, before he went on the cross, he told his apostles, this wine here, I'm not, not, gonna, I'm not gonna drink this wine. But I promise you, I'm going to drink it for the first time in the kingdom. Eh? Actually, you know what, family? Since I brought it up, I'm sure I'll go back to Ezra quickly. Eh? Drink it. We'll drink it. We'll drink it. Let's see what comes up. Matthew. Matthew 26, 29. Family, we have received. Eh? We have received. But I say unto you. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, our king. The one the world ignorant called Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. He's Hebrew. He's not Greek. Eh? He's, he, he does, he's not, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Anglo Saxon. No, no, no. He is who? Eh? He is Hebrew. Because when Apostle Paul reminded us that when he was knocked off the horse, right? And blinded, yes, he says, the Lord spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. When the angel visited Mary, he spoke to Mary in the Hebrew tongue. Eh? That's right. We are getting back our language. The original language. Paleo Hebrew. That's what is coming for his elect and all Israel eventually. Because the Lord is going to have mercy on all Israel. 
But this time around, for that thousand years to rule Yahweh Shah, it's only going to be the elect. The elect that were picked before the foundation of the earth. And that's why we're given diligence to make our election sure. Because we want to be among those numbers. That's why family, that's why we are doing this. That's why we are giving diligence. Eh? We want to be among the numbers. It says, but I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it, it new with you in my father's kingdom. You hear that family? This is what we want to be part of. Hmm? That's what the king said. These are not my words, family. This, this, are not my words. These are the words of our King Yahweh He says he's going to drink wine with us. And yes, I believe it. I will bet my house on it. I will bet everything on it. Lord willing, Lord willing, we are among the numbers. Yes, he is going to drink wine with us for the first time. Let's go to Ezra. Second Ezra, I quoted it. So he says, the Lord says what? He is going to, he says, say, verse 75, straight to the point. The Lord said in the book of Isaiah, we read it, he is going to, family, he's going to take care of us. But this is just a confirmation. Because we see that society is collapsing right in front of our eyes. And these devils, they know, yes, they know that they are in the, this is the end for them. So what? They figured, you know what? We are all, we are going to war. Eh? They said, because the first world war, after the first world war, what happened? They came back, they built. The second world war, the same thing, right? Eh? In America, what? Uh, money, the fiat currency became what? The global currency, right? So they are hoping for the same, the same thing to happen. After the third world war, they will come back and build back better. But they don't know that this is it for them. Because when I check Revelation chapter 13, family, I must well bring it out. Hmm? Let me, actually, let's read it here. Let's hear, let's read this first and I'll go back to Revelation. I know I'm jumping all over the pages, but family, it is the spirit. It says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide. In your, the, the guide of what? When the hour of temptation comes. Because the, you know, Revelation 13, 16, this is where everything is leading to. Hey? Eh? There's the micro, which is, my, in, you know, you know what I mean, family? It's going to go under your skin. That's how you're going to be able to function in this society, the B system that they're about to create. In order to participate in the system, you have to take it. But we are here to tell you that not to, because the Lord is going to make sure that the ones that he has allotted to take it will take it. And then he's going to bring great wrath upon them. But you, the Lord is promising that he's going to be what? Your guide. So let's read this again. 2 Ezra chapter 16 verse 76. Family, we have few articles to go through. Okay, so please bear with me. And the guide of them who keep my commandments. Hmm? Don't, don't let nobody tell you that the laws are done away with. So you can continue to, um, to commit adultery, stealing, eh? eating whatever you, uh, your heart desire. No, family, we have a grace period. The grace period is to make things right with the Lord. Hmm? That's right. And yes, we still live in this flesh. Every now and then we're going to go off. But we're not going to use our grace period as a cloak of maliciousness. Because we have grace, so we're going to continue to live and say, No, family, you're going to die here. You're going to die. The Lord is going to kill you. Eh? We have a period where we are constantly repenting, minding our steps. Yes, family. We haven't come this far to drop the baton. You can see the finish line. You can see the finish, the finish, the finish line, family. You see it. You see the kingdom is right there. The kingdom is already in your heart. The family is about to be manifest. Yahweh is coming. He says, "Let not your sins weigh you down." You hear that? And let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. Let me read, read that again. Say, and the guide of them who keep my commandment and precept says the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquity lift up themselves. You hear that, family? Hey? Eh? It said, Woe, meaning destruction, be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. That's how thick your sins are. Yes. But the Lord is about to blot out our sins. 
and for his elect. Because we, are, we know we're not perfect. We have sinned. We have sinned. We are waiting for that mercy. Now you have the light now. It's shining brightly in you. That's Yahweh Shah. He is the light. He is the way. He is the truth. Eh? He said, you shall know the truth. Who is the truth? Yahweh Shah. Eh? He pulled you out of the plantation Christianity. We know some of our family members are still in there. We pray that the Lord will have mercy upon them. If they are the elect, the Lord will pull them out. But if they are not the elect, who knows what the Lord is going to do to them? Hmm? The Lord will pull them out. If they are the elect, they're going to be calling on the name Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. The family, again, I, pray, I, I said what? This is the last war. Because the last time I checked, like I said, the Lord didn't say there would be fourth, uh, fourth world war. He said the three. So let's go again. We bring this up. You guys know exactly where I'm going. Revelation Revelation 8, 14. Or oh, 13. I think it's 13. Listen to this, family. You hear that? You see, this is it. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, First World War, Woe, Second World War, Woe, Third World War. We, the followers of Yahweh Shai, we have the true word of prophecy. This is what? The gospel of Yahweh Shai. We have the sure word of prophecy. So as this nation is preparing to go to war, we know that this is it for them. Because the king promises that in the midst of that war, oh yes, he's going to crack open the skies. And all these nations are going to put their differences aside and tend to face the second coming of our king. And when he was done with them, family, they said nothing was to be perceived but dust and smoke. Hmm? That's why we are extremely excited, family. That's why we are extremely excited. Mm? So whatever solution they honestly think they're gonna build back, they're gonna build back better. Their fourth industrial revolution is gonna take off. Their reset is gonna take off. But family, we know that it's gonna fail. He says here, and I beheld, and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, "Woe!" Woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to, bow, to sound. We know that the first world war came and left what? The 19, 1914 to 1918. The second world war was what? Um, uh, 1939 to 1945. And then here it tells you, and it tells you, Eh? It says here, the Second World War was also prophesied here in Revelation. It says the Second War is past, which was what? The Second World War. And behold, the Third War, which is what? The Third World War cometh quickly. So family, now that we've established that, because we are all about Yahweh Shai, this is his gospel. Eh? We try not to cut corners. We have receipt. Eh? When we see these nations losing their mind, it says here, we are rejoicing. But let's go from the beginning. Let's go. I think I have a few articles. Let's go to this, this one here first. It's a 3,000 turnout in Sydney against NATO pro-Russia. Okay. There's a Haltena uh, radio show website. And he's, he's pretty good when it comes to, you know... Um, reliable sources you know because family we all about prophecy so when we come across these articles we go through them and we use it to edify and lift up and edify the flock and lift up the name of our king yahweh shy okay this is his movie told that these are the things that he asked us to be watching for he said be occupied with what prophecy and eh? be occupied with prophecy let's go as i, I read something here So yes, yeah, this is it. Family, I'll put all this in the description box so you can access it if you choose to read it. So let's go to this. Is, this I, I like uh, this opinion here. What is it? it says here, We were all warned. Russia had previously told everyone, the whole world, that this situation was going to become military. The world laughed. 
they aren't laughing now. You see, when Russia speaks, they say what they mean and they actually mean what they say. That's the spirit the Lord has poured upon them because Russia is going to play a major prophecy. They're going to play a major part in, sorry, a major part in prophecy. That's right. Gog and Magog, the king of the East, Meet. That's right. M-E-D-E-S. Yes, family. Russia, along with several other nations, are going to be assembled to take down the beast, Babylon, the great, and NATO, and the West. That's what is coming. Because the second leg of Roman Empire, America is America and its vast state is just Rome 2.0. Okay, when they came back into the red, they came back in the Renaissance family. That little horn from uh, Daniel chapter 7, verse 8. Hey, eh? the, 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 the Lord only gave them a period of time to rule, I think it was 350 years. That 350 years have been has gone. A family, it came back in 1400. If you do the math, family, they are on a borrowed time. Everything that is happening on this planet Earth here was is written in the Bible. That's right. That's the word of our power, Yahweh Bahashem. No other book can be compared to the power. Yahweh's book, his word. And no other, all the nations, whatever they call their God, is nothing but idol. That's right. That's right. The only power that matter is the creator of the heaven and the earth. Yahweh wa, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. Those are the only two entities, the only two powers that matters. It says here, so the reason why Russia say what they mean, that's right. It is because the Lord is going to use Russia to take down Babylon and the West. It says here, you see, when Russia speaks, they say what they mean and they actually mean what they say. It isn't that way in the West. Here in the West, we are caught in this phony virtual signaling where we say things that sound oh so good and nice, but we never actually do. Russia doesn't operate that way. If they say it, they mean it. Which bring me back to the protest in Sydney, Australia at the top of this story. As the conflict with Ukraine has gotten uglier, NATO has been shipping billions of dollars worth of military gear to Ukraine. More and more gear, better and better gear. Along the way, Russia has repeatedly warned they will use nuclear weapons to defend Russia because the Lord also said that what? This particular war that is coming, family, we have received. Isaiah chapter, chapter 9. We have received Isaiah chapter 9. Let's go to verse 6. Is it verse, uh, uh, no, Isaiah, Isaiah 9, I believe it's, let's pick it, I think it's 5 or 6. No, Isaiah 9, 6, straight to the point, family. No, Isaiah, oh, sorry, Isaiah 5. It says, here, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And garments roll in blood. That's how the ancient wars were fought. People paint their faces. They have their shield. They have their spears. Mm -hmm. And their sword in hands. You know, screaming. You know, the garments roll in blood. But this, what is this? This coming war, the third world war. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Because those intercontinental ballistic missiles, the only way they're going to travel is what? With fuel and fire. That's how they're going to go across continents. That's right. That's how they travel. That's the, the nuclear war that is coming. Everything that is happening again is already written in the Bible. And we thank the Lord for giving us the eyes of and opening our mind, our ears to receive this beautiful gospel this is the best music ever eh? the song is family when you hear this song man if you don't start dancing man you are not the elect mm -mm -mm. you are not the hopefully elect. we use that hopefully elect eh? to show humility because nobody know you've been called the family when the lord beam us up onto those ships then we are safe until then we give diligence to make our election sure that's what the book says what well, Work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. 
Hmm? Let's read on. It says here, which it says here, as the conf no, he says here, along the way, Russia has repeatedly warned they will use nuclear weapons to defend Russia. As should be clear, as should be clear to even the most childlike intellect right now, when Russia says something, they mean it. They have proven this over and over again. Despite Russia's warning, the West continued to up the ante. And as you read this right this minute, the West had given a green light to providing Ukraine with fourth generation F-16 fighter jets. Yes, family, again, like I said in the beginning of this lesson, the financial system is collapsing. Yes. And people, there's going to be uproar on the street. People are not going to be able to pay their bills. Economy is crashing. And guess what? They need something. The only thing left is war. But this is the trap that the Lord has set for them. They think after the Third World War, they're going to come back and build back better. No. In the midst of that Third World War, what time, what hour, what month, nobody knows. But the king is coming. He himself said he doesn't know except his father. He said the angels don't know. But Yahweh, our power, knows. And he's the one that's going to tap him on his shoulder. He goes, son, go get him. Mm -hmm. Go get him. Just roughly paraphrasing, family. And then he's going to come up with thousands and thousands of angels. That's right. Redeem his elect. And then show Esau how it's done. That's right. Esau is the so-called white man. The one in rulership right now. That's right. The twin brother of Jacob. That's right. They are our half-brother. Not our half brother, they are our brother. What am I saying? They are our brother, our wicked brother. That's right. Eh? So let's continue. It says here, it says, Russia announced publicly this morning they will shoot down any F 16 they find in Ukraine airspace. They also publicly accused the United States of trying to escalate the Ukraine conflict into a world war. The family, we told you already. There's nothing anybody is going to do to prevent the Third World War. Mm -mm. Because the Lord already told us that the words that comes out of his mouth will not return to him void. So if the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai sent the angel to visit John, to tell John that there will be Third World War, three wars, yes, it is coming. But we know we have the blueprint. That's how blessed we are. When everybody is busy building their bunkers, stocking up, hmm, buying precious metal, and after the war, they're going to come back and then they're going to, you know, uh, they're going to have a loss of money because it says when, they, they say when the stock market is crashing, that's when you buy because things are going to be cheap. And then, when, then after the war, you make a loss of money because family, these people, money is their God. That's right. The Lord is not on the Lord is not in their talk, no. Because they never think this place will come to an end. But that's how blessed we are. We have the blueprint. You see, the Lord says what? Knowledge and wisdom. I quoted this yesterday, but I wanted to go, I, I wanted to bring it out. So somebody will say, Yeah, Isaiah 33, 6 family, it says here. When everybody is building their gold, eh? Stocking up on their diamond, guess what? The Lord is saying what? And wisdom and knowledge, understanding these words, you knowing what is happening, you actually got a direct line to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, and he has opened your eyes to see what is coming. He has told you that he's going to be your guide in those days. It says here, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. When everybody is losing their mind, what am I going to do now? What? Family, you are calm like a, a cucumber. Is it that even a word? Yeah. Yes, family. You are calm. Hey? You are calm. He says, and the strength of what? Your salvation. He said, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Because he says, those that fear the Lord, what happens? I Psalm, Psalm, 30, Psalm 34 verse 7. What does it say? It says, the angel encamped round about those that fear him. So the angels are going to protect you. They're going to guide you. This is how blessed we are. It says again, Isaiah 33 verse 6. When everybody's losing their mind, hey, 
Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. That's this word here. You know it. You take in heed. The Lord said, fear me. I will deliver you. Eh? Live off from your wicked ways. Come to me. Eh? Because this is the time. Eh? This is the time. Because when things started happening, when you call on the Lord, family, that phone is off the hook. And that's going to be a scary position to be in. But here it says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Since I brought it, I might as well go to it. Let's go to the book of Psalm 34 quickly. Because family, the angel who are our brothers pursuing to what? Revelation 19 verse 10. The angels are our brothers. But let's go to Psalm 34 verse 7. No, Psalm 34. Verse 7 quickly. You know that the angel family, we fear the Lord. Guess what? That time comes. Guess what? The Lord has, is going to surround you with angels. You might not see them, but they are there. That's right. They are there. It said, The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that do what? Fear him and deliver them. Eh? Family, we have the sure word of prophecy. Eh? Israel, we have the sure word of prophecy. Let's finish this article. It says here, They also publicly accused the United States of trying to escalate the Ukraine conflict into a world war. In this regard, it seems to me personally, Russia hit the nail right on the head. The U.S. is trying to start World War III and it is our American government and its NATO vassals that are slow walking you and me to our death via nuclear Armageddon. No. Not everybody is going to be destroyed. No. The earth abided forever. Remember that. And the earth abide. Let's see. I think it's uh, Ecclesiastes. Let's go. Command somewhere Ecclesiastes. Let's go to let's go, let's do it this way. Yeah, the family now. The um, <clears throat> Ecclesiastes one, right in front of me too <laughs> sorry about that beloved it says here one generation passes away and another generation coming but the earth abided forever yes nuclear war is coming but they're going to be an elect they're going to be redeemed people are going to survive it we're going to come down in our new bodies and we're going to rule lord willing lord willing lord willing we are among the numbers and we're going to gather the elect Sorry, the, the elite of this society. That's right. The richest of the richest, your kings, yes, your president, your prime ministers, they are going to be the first crop of slavery. That's what is coming. That's why when we see these, we come across these articles, we, family, the hopefully led, we are rejoicing. It put a smile on our face. You better believe it because we know that our salvation draweth nigh. Huh? We lift up the name of our king, Yahweh Shai. Mm. We boast in those names. We're telling Esau that Yahweh Shai is coming to throw down his kingdom. Mm. We're telling him before it happens. That's what all the old prophets did. Jeremiah 28 verse 8, it tells you the prophets of old prophesied against what? Kingdom. Kingdom of what? What is coming? Destruction, famine. Hmm? The prophets of old. So family, the prophets, the mouthpiece of the Lord are back in their lot. It's called re 
incarnation. Eh? Let's continue. It says here, unless people in Europe and the United States take to the street peacefully, respectfully, and in dignified manner, I personally believe we are going to get nuked soon. Oh, no, 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 no. No amount of parading and, you know, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, what is it called? Protesting. Family, we don't do that. You're protesting. That means you want to stay here. Right? You want to stay. You know the, two, the, 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 the two-thirds of our people that are going to be destroyed in America? Family, they are the ones that are going to be out there protesting. Yes, some of them are going to be there. But the elect, oh, family, we cannot wait for this thing to take off. That's right. Because we want to see the end of this wicked kingdom. We want to see the end of this wicked kingdom. This is from End Time Headline. <clears throat> Excuse me. End Time Headlines. It says here, Ignoring threat from Putin, US and its allies will provide Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. Yes, family, everybody's writing about this. We just read from Haltena News. And this is what they want. Because why? The economy is finished. America, dollar, everybody's walking away from it. America is finished. Yes, if you are building bunker in America, buying cryptocurrency, buying gold, buying diamond, no, it is done. You can put a fork in it. It is finished. They are living on a borrowed time because why? There's a kingdom coming. And his name is Yahweh, the only begotten of our power, Yahweh. He's coming to rule in righteousness. Let's go to Peter. Oh, let's go to Peter. Just pop in my spam. I as well bring it. Let's go to 2 Peter. Family, we have a few articles to go through, so please bear with me. Um, Second Peter. Is it three ten? Yeah, three ten. It said, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. Esau's heaven. His rulership, all the faces that you see, all these devils, that's right, all your rich, the so-called elite of this world. Yahweh is coming to throw them down. That's what is coming. Hmm? That fancy suit and the tie, no. It's not going to help them. All their riches is not going to help them. Everything is going to be destroyed by our power, our Lord, our King, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten. He is coming to throw, to destroy this society and establish a righteous kingdom. Let's read it. It says, In the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works, every wicked thing that they've created. That's right. Their Hollywood, their White House, everything on the land is going to be destroyed. It says here, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. It says here, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Apostle Peter telling us. So now that you know all these things are going to be burnt down. It says here, what manner of person are you to be? What should you be doing? Should you be investing in cryptocurrency? Hey? Investing in the stock market? The Lord, Peter is asking you. Because they have, the Lord has given us enough to know that we are close. The moment that war pops off, the war already started. It's just going to escalate. Because why? America society is collapsing. Why? Financially, they are finished. They are in so much debt that all these nations are family. Are going, they are going to create their own currency. They are ditching American dollar. So what do you think? The only thing they have left is what? Their army. He says, if we can have it, we must well burn the entire world down. If we can be at the top, no, 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 no. They, they are not going to sit down and talk. Because why? This is the spirit that the Lord has put in them. Because why? The same way the Lord destroyed Egypt. What did the Lord say? I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart, right? So anytime Moses goes to tell uh, Egypt, sorry, to, anytime Moses goes to speak to Pharaoh to let the children of Israel go, what did, they, what did the Pharaoh say? No. Pharaoh refused because why? The Lord hardened his heart. That's why Joe Biden and his cronies, 
nobody wants to talk about peace. They are on the escalator ladder. It started with helmet. Now what? They said we're going to supply Ukraine with helmet. Now F-16s. Because why? It is the Lord. He told you in the book of Daniel chapter 4 verse 17 that what? He is the one ruling in the kingdom of men. There's nothing happening without family. How could a man understand his own way? He said the king's heart, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. I will bring that later on. He says here, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of our power. Eh? The day of our power. Yahweh is coming. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. From east to the west, from the south to the north, everything is going to burn up in America. The lake of fire. That's what is coming. He says, nevertheless, this is us, family. He said, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, the promise of our salvation, new bodies, rulership, kinship, from zero to hundred, hey, being at the bottom to the top. He said, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. He says here, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, which is what? Salvation. Look for what? New heavens and new earth. Hey? So anybody telling you that, oh, the world, the third world war is going to destroy the world, uh, nuclear apocalypse and all that nonsense, finally walk away from them. Walk away from them. They've no, they have no clue. They have no clue what they're talking about. Eh? That's fear. That's what Esau preaches. That's what Esau promotes. We, that's right, the followers of our King Yahawashai, we bring the good news to Israel. That's right, the good news. The gospel means good news, telling you that your king is coming. He's the one orchestrating all these wars. That's right. He has put the spirit in them to do his will. The Lord told us already. We have enough to prepare us for the coming of our king. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for what? A new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Man, can you imagine? That's why the book of Psalm 126 says, we, we were like those that dream. All of a sudden, our bodies are going to change. We're going to wake, wake up in the kingdom. And it's going to be like a bad dream. Can you imagine, family? Yes, we can imagine it. And that's what is coming. That's how it's going to feel like, literally. Hey? Our new bodies. New earth. New family. We could, things are going to smell. We're going to be different. I don't know how the body is going to operate. Hey? But we know that Yahweh Shai himself said he's the one who's going to change our bodies. That's our king. Let's read this article, beloved. It says here, The worst effort to potentially send modern fighter jets to Ukraine carries enormous risks. Russia Deputy Foreign Minister Alexander Grushko warned on Saturday, according to Russian state news agency TASS. The minister's comments in the interview with TASS come in the wake of the U.S. getting behind a joint international effort to train Ukrainian pilots to use modern fighter aircraft, including F-16. This could also pave the way to eventually send advanced Western combat jets to Ukraine, according to senior administration official. They're using Ukraine, 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 Ukraine. Before, this is a war, NATO and, the, and Russia. 20, NATO has what? 21 members. No, sorry, I saw 21, 31 members. 31 members and they are going against Russia. But guess what? Russia is working behind the scene. Russia is also forming his own alliances. Oh yeah, it is coming. Yes, this guy here, the uh, the minister, Alexander Grushko warned. I went to just to confirm that article. I went and looked for it. It's right here, family. Where is it? Uh, I think it's... Um, please bear with me. This is the gentleman right here. Yes, this is him. If Western countries decide to send, Western countries are sticking to the escalation scenario, which comes with enormous risks, the deputy foreign minister has said. He said, if Western countries decide to send the F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine, it could backfire on them. Russia deputy foreign minister Alexander Grushko warned on Saturday. Yes, this is the gentleman that um, the end time headline news quoted. 
So family, we are extremely excited. Israel, be excited for your king. Your king is coming. And then there's nothing anybody can do about it. They are living on a borrowed time. This is it. The war to end all war. That's how Yahweh Shai is showing up. Because it said the day of the Lord, family, he tells you, let me bring it. He said the day of the Lord is not going to be pretty. But I love when I, let's go to the book of, is it uh, Amos? I believe it's Amos 5. It said, woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. It said, woe to you. What is it? What is a war to Amos 5? Let's bring it. Let's bring it and glorify the Lord. But the elect, yes, we're going to be rejoicing. Amos 5, is it Amos 5 18? Yes. It's a woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Why is this saying that? Because we know that the day of the Lord, family, is gloominess, is darkness, but according to Zephaniah. Let's go. He said, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. But plantation Christianity will tell you that we're all going to be sitting around and drinking tea. Butterflies will be flying around. That everybody's going to be safe as long as we call in the name of sweet baby Jesus. No. The day of the Lord. Let's continue to read it. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion. Picture yourself being chased by a lion. Yes. A lion and a bear met him. That's how it's going to be. It's going to be mischief in every corner. You picture you be running away from a lion and a bear met you. It says here, or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall. When you think you've uh, you've escaped and what? A serpent bit him. That's how the day of the Lord is going to be. That's how the day of the Lord is going to be. That's why family, yes, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your wife is not going to be able to save you. Your boss at your work is not going to be able to save you. You put the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai first in everything that you do. Work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. Hope that you will escape what is coming. That's how it's going to be. Zephaniah reminded us. Let me bring it up. Family, it's all about edification. I said Zephaniah 1 14, I believe. Uh, let's go to. <clears throat> Hmm. It says the great day of the Lord is near. Hmm? It is near, family, because this nation's listen. This third world war, I mean, it, it, will, it can escalate any time now. It can escalate any time. But first, they have to introduce the uh, my, uh, you know what, uh, the word is going to go under your skin. Revelation 13, 16, 17, 18 has to be fulfilled. But it could happen simultaneously. It could happen at the same time. Family, this is the time that we, this is how close we are. It says Zephaniah 1.14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. It said the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. It said the mighty men. If the mighty men are going to cry bitterly, what's going to happen to the women? What's going to happen to the women? Because they're going to be all type of chaos, eh? People being raped because the how that's how Ezra Ezra saw it. Homes being broken into, chaos upon chaos, civil war, class wars, family, gender wars, all type of things going on at the same time. Third world war. He said the day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Family, that doesn't look like a time, that doesn't, doesn't look like a, 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 a summer afternoon where everybody's sitting under a chair and having a barbecue and playing some soca music or some reggae music. No. It said the day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, a distress, a day of wasteness. A desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. It says here, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fence cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men. People are going to be so confused. This is what the Lord is bringing. 
Because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. That's the day of the Lord. That's why Amos, when Amos says what? It's like you running away from a, a, a lion and a bear met you. As you thought you, you, got a, you got away and entered into a house, a serpent bit you. Mischief in every corner. Basically, that's what that means. That's what it means. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver, you hear this family? Cryptocurrency, gold, all the treasure, uh, what is it, fiat currency? You see these rappers, they have this bundle, you know, and they, 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 they cash, you know, every, they, every, every opportunity that they get, they want to flash their money. No, the Lord is saying that that is not going to deliver you. You know who the Lord is going to deliver? His elect. His elect. And we pray. That's why we're giving diligence. Because we've been hired. Working for that penny. We are all working for that penny. That's the kingdom of heaven. That's that penny everybody's working for. We've been hired. Woe to me if I don't do this work. We pray that the Lord will have mercy upon all of us, the elect family. Pray that you hear my voice. Take heed. Because salvation is at the door. The Lord our King is coming, man. The kingdom, there's not a time to party. The kingdom, we're going to have eternity to party. Every day is going to be a party time. In the kingdom, we're going to have all, all the riches. We see these countries, they say China is buying this amount of gold. Russia is buying this amount of gold. Saudi Arabia is buying this amount of gold. Iran is buying this amount of gold. Family, it's all about to be translated to Israel. This is, we are not trying to get anything on this end here. We are looking forward to the kingdom to come. Because that's when we're going to be at the top of the food chain. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. All those riches of these nations, family, we're not even going to have room to store them. That's right. We're not going to have room to store them. He said, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. You hear that? Peter reminded us. I just read it. Second Peter chapter, uh, chapter 3 verse 10. It says, the elements shall burn with fervent heat. So all their work is going to be in vain. But now you have the blueprint. You have this word now. So when somebody come and tell you that, listen, this world is going to be destroyed by nuclear, you know, you sit back and laugh because they don't know any better. I read it, the, I read in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 3, it says the earth abided forever. See, how was I build all this place here? Eh? And then destroy it. No, 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 no. He's coming to renew it. It's going to be refreshed. Yahweh Shai is going to be among us. We're going to work for Yahweh Shai. We're going to serve that king. We just want the opportunity to say Tawada for having mercy upon us. For putting this beautiful song in our mouth to be singing in this last day. Family, it is a joy to teach this word. It is a joy. The gospel of Yahweh Shai, our king. Man, I don't, family, I'm looking forward to that wine. <laughs> hey, hey. It said, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Do you hear that? A speedy riddance. Again, Revelation chapter 18 tells us that what? He said it three times in the book of Revelation chapter. It says one hour. One hour, family. One hour is going to take the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, eh? to bring America to naught. One hour. This is where everything is leading. This F-16 family, it is es they are, the, are the escalator ladder. There's no reverse gear. They are not coming back. They are not going to sit around the table and talk peace because this is the Lord's will. The same thing the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha did in Egypt, hardens Pharaoh's heart. He's hardening their heart to show his power. So when he brings destruction, everybody's going to know that, yes, indeed, the Lord's hand is all over this one. This is what is coming. That's the day of the Lord. Let's see if we can bring another article. Let's go. Uh, I think, no, I mentioned this. 
This is the debt ceiling negotiation crumble. McCarthy and Biden to hold Sunday call as impasse intensify. For those of you who don't, who are not paying attention, America is broke. In order to continue to print the money, they have to raise their debt. I think right now it's about 32 or 33 trillion dollars, eh? Debt that they cannot, they can never pay it, but they want to raise it. Eh? They want to continue to print money because if they don't print money, guess what? People are not going to receive their social security benefits and government workers are not going to be paid. This is what is coming. So are they going to use this to collapse the system and introduce the, you know what, the CBDC? And then eventually that is going to lead to the, you know, Revelation 13, 16. We don't know, but we are monitoring it. Family, it's all prophecy because we know how these devils are. You know, we know how they said they like, they are controlling this thing here. But they think they are controlling it because the Lord that's actually allowing them to do it. But in their mind, they think what? In order to squeeze the people, because these look at these people and look at their faces. They are rich, right? They have all the money. You know, the person who's going to suffer is majority of what of, of the people that are going to suffer are who? The Israelite, the so-called blast Latino, Native American, African Americans. Yes, our people, the Israel, they are the ones that are going to suffer. They are the ones that are going to suffer because why? We are at the bottom of the, uh, the food chain. You see, but it's all good though. It's all good. You know, the Lord is about to turn everything around for his elect family from zero to a hundred. That's how it's going to feel like, you know, being at the bottom to the top. Eh? That's what is coming. All oh, praises, honor and glory to the king of Israel. Yahweh Shai. He said, debt ceiling negotiation crumble. McCarthy and Biden to hold Sunday call as impasse intensive. And negotiation in Washington, D.C. over the debt ceiling have taken a big step back over the weekend as the white house and the house republicans continue to point fingers at each other family don't mind them and eh? two feathers on the same bird they all have the same voice they're speaking one for the same way roman empire went down the same way this is this one is also going to go down the roman back to the ancient roman empire they had two party system eh? but guess what they speak with one voice they pretend they're giving you choices eh? but family america is nothing but what cooperation because again these people here, they've all been bought and paid for because the people that put them in those seats are what? The corporation. These are the people that contribute to their elections. Yes. Because if I'm, a, I'm running for an election and you, a family member, give me $5 and someone turn around and give me $10 million towards my election, guess whose phone call I'm going to be taking? Exactly. Family. Yes. They give you the option like you have two parties, not on the family. There's no two-party system. It's just one-party system. They're all speaking with one voice. It's all cooperation. Yeah, America and the West is just a cooperation. They don't care about the small people. But that's why we are waiting for righteousness. The king of righteousness. Yahweh Shai. It says here, let's read a bit of this and then we're going to have a few more articles to go through. If it, it seems as though we want default more than he wants a deal. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy it says, we have got 11 days to go. McCarthy continue urging Biden and the Democrats to be sensible about this. 11 more days, family, and then America is, is broke. They're already broke. But you just want an opportunity to continue to print that fake money. Republicans have been pushing for substantial long-term spending reduction, arguing that Congress needs to roll the nation's deficit back. No, sorry, nation's deficit spending back to 2022 levels while restricting the growth of government spending. The White House, on the other hand, wants to achieve policy goals via taxation. McCarthy said there's some talk of extending the debt ceiling until 2025, but he said he's demanding cuts to federal spending in exchange for GOP votes to do so. Biden, he said, is resisting. Family, we just want this whole thing to collapse. Eh? We just want all this thing to collapse. There's something I want to share with you here. And um, let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, yes. Let's read a bit. It says here, the headline says, Paul Greg Roberts is the one that wrote this article for Zero Hedge. It says here, the United States has been destroyed by its ruling elite. You see the usual suspect, Bremner. You have your Obama there. You know, that one that and destroy Libya. You know, Russia, collusion, Hillary, the devil, the witch. Um, you have, uh, what's it called? Uh, 
<laughs> Trump right there. Let's read a bit of the family setback. It's comical, but you know, it's just nice to see that everything is falling apart. The kingdom, this the whole is family finally being dropped by Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Let's go. He says, against the backdrop of the United States recognition of investigation against Donald Trump as politically motivated structural and ideological controversies and concerns that the American economy will enter a recession. <clears throat> the GO4, what is that? GO4. Look up, what is GO4? Hmm. Try to find out what that stands for. But anyway, let's continue. It says, the GO4 editorial board asked Paul Craig Roberts, chairman of the Institute for Political Economic, a PhD in economics and U.S. Undersecretary of Treasury in the Reagan administration to share his views on American future. Oh, everybody got an opinion, family. It says here, special counsel John Durham acquitted Donald Trump on the so-called Russia gate writing in his report that the FBI investigation was politically motivated. How will this news affect the Democrat fight against Trump? From this a long article, actually, you know what, I'm just going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Uh, but I will do, I will put this in the description box. When I came out, when I saw the headline, I think it was just, just another, um, let me see what's happening here. Yeah, sorry, when I saw the headline, The United States has been destroyed by its ruling elite. No, they are living on a borrowed time. Basically, what the Lord, they are this elite. They have no control. It says that the Lord, the the, the 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 Lord allowed them to think, because a man's going is of the Lord. They think that the the, the so-called deep state is ruling America. The Lord is bringing America to its knees. That's what the Lord is doing. The Lord is bringing America to its knees. But let, family, let's finish with this. This is when you know that Esau's kingdom. I, I, I saved this for last. But let's go to the book of uh, Nahum. Let's go to the book of Nahum. Yeah, this is uh, it's a German city name. says capital of the world. Cologne is the G-A-Y Mecca. Where S-E-X is the new religion. Lost magazine claim. Yeah, look at them. Yes, family, they dress as dogs. Remember? Look at this grown man. Look at what he's wearing. And he has a, he has a, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, family, look at it. Mm? A collar around his neck. Mm? What is he? He's a dog. And this is the handler. Eh? This, this, this is Esau. This is, this is, this, this, these are the people ruling over us. Remember what the Lord says in the book. He says, the basis of men. Actually, before I go to Nahum, let's go, let's go there quickly. Daniel, let's go to Daniel, Daniel 4. That, listen, our power, Yahweh, he has a great sense of humor. I won't lie. When he says, he put the basis of men to rule over us. He says, this matter. Look at these people. Look, look, look at them. Look, we, we will get it. It says here, Daniel 4, 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high you hear that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. He's the one in charge, okay? And giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest, eh? Low moral of men. Let's look up that word. I mean, let's look up that word. A person's actions or feeling without moral principle. And denoting a befitting a person of low social class. Eh? These are the people that are ruling, the Lord put to rule over us. That's why family, when Yahweh Shai takes over and the Israelite goes in power, you're going to see the contrast. Yes, let's read it. So Cologne has been named the, world, the world's most sexually liberated city with the city's panoply of G-A-Y bars and, you know, events, uh, bumping it to the top of it of a list compiled by a german magazine cologne is world famous for its carnival and cathedral german based lost magazine wrote but for many residents of this cosmopolitan tolerance city 
S-E-X is the new religion. Hmm? Yes. Let's go to the book of Nahum. Nahum. Uh, the, the book of Nahum 3. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's start from 1 and we're going to jump. We're going to jump through 4. It's a war to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robberies. The prey departeth not. Okay? It says here. Let's get that. It says, it says uh, let's go. No, no, no. I want to jump to, I want to go to uh, verse, uh, let's go to four. Let's go to four. It says here, because of the multitude of thy whoredoms of the world favored harlot. Eh? Because America and all this vast state family, they are following America's way. That's right. That ideology, eh? this is what they are trying to push around the world. This is what they're trying to import around the world. And the global south doesn't want anything to do with it. That's right. They don't want anything to do with it. This is vile. This is wickedness. That's why the Lord, oh, he can't wait to set this place on fire. Yes, he cannot wait to set this place on fire. He said, because of the multitude of the, the whoredoms of the world favorite harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations. Yes. How does he sell nation through what? What the law says? What did I say? That is democracy, eh? And these are all part of the democracy family. Give rise to what the the alphabet lifestyle. Allow people to marry dogs, to marry cats, to you know what to worship fish, to wish whatever your heart desire. You allow to do it. Liber they call it liberation. Yes, it says here because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the world favorite harlot. The mistress of witchcraft that selleth nation through her whoredoms and family through her witchcraft. Hmm? Because he will put this in the movies. Yes, in shows in the educational system. Now they're teaching children. Eh? Four, five years old. Yes, they can what? Change their what? Their, 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 you know, their private parts. Yes, they can switch. That's when you know that this place got to go. He had a, he, this place got to go. Let's go. Verse. He said, Behold, I am against thee. The Lord is against these devils. It says, says the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts, your sins, upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness. People are laughing at you. Look at this. Family, look at this. Hmm? Yes, look at it. Look at it. Grown people, family. Look, look at them. It says here, let's continue. It says, I will show the nation thy nakedness and the kingdom thy shame. Verse 6, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. Yes, right. It's a gazing stock. This, this, look, look at them. Look at them. Let's read, let's read the comments, some of the comments here quickly, and we're gonna wrap this up. This is your life with the JEWs in charge. <laughs> How true is that? What do the Germans think after the JEWs took over whole of Germany? That's the end result. Even American women were selling themselves in Frankfurt. Crazy S-E-X-Y to pay for their college. The only place that they had a tree growing right through, right through the roof. It will be packed full of servicemen at the beginning of the month. When they got paid, prices will really drop towards the end of the month through family. The Lord is bringing an end to this wicked kingdom. It says, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Let's get that quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see if I can find it. And we'll close with that. I think it's second Ezra. It says, Behold, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 5 says, Behold, says the Lord, I will bring place upon the world the sword, famine, death, and destruction. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Their hurtful works are fulfilled. Family, that's it. 
they can go they can, they can, they can, they, they can. the wickedness family is a, is exceedingly polluted the entire earth and the lord said yes now it's enough they've done enough so i'm bringing destruction that's what is coming so beloved of israel the hopeful elect waiting for the mercies of our king our redeemer yahweh shai i hope you are edified let's give honor and glory to our power yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem lokakodash for this lesson we don't take it for granted we are so blessed to have this truth in this last days and we pray that the spirit will continue to be upon us to bring this edific ed- ed- this ed- edification lessons day in and day out to feed the flock because that's why we were put on this planet we were not put here to prosper on this end we were put here to prepare the kingdom of our king yahweh shai to start making way for the king to come so before he comes he sent says out to preach the gospel to israel this gospel is only for israel he says go to the lord sheep right let's go to matthew 10:6 quickly matthew 10:6 must we finish it with matthew 10:6 <clears throat> No, Matthew. Matthew 10 verse 6. It says go. Actually go to the previous verse. This twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them saying, go not into the way of the Gentiles, that the rest of the nations, the other nations, because yes, this is referring to the other nations. and into any city of the samaritans enter ye not but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of israel this is a family affair the rest of the nation have nothing to do with it plantation christianity taught universal salvation there's no such thing as universal salvation the lord is only dealing with israel this is the gospel of yahweh shai he said but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of israel and what when you and then why why are we doing that let's go it says and as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand that's why we do this lesson to remind you that your king is coming the kingdom of heaven is at hand prepare your heart work on your own salvation with fear and trembling you don't have to look for family look at these people they are vile the third world war is coming famine chaos everywhere this is it this kingdom need a new rulership and the one who is going to rule over this kingdom his name is yahweh shai i will leave it there again all praises on and glory to the power of abraham isaac jacob yahweh and his only begotten son our king our redeemer yahweh shai shalom